Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. This is a really cool gold bar gift box. Um, so the idea for this has come from uh, a temple in China um, and they have these um, very, very small ones. They're really, really tiny and they're offerings to the gods, um, to loved ones. Um, and it's to do with wealth and obviously um, making sure people have money in their other lives and things like that. So it just inspired me to put together this one here. So this is a nice bigger one and this would be great for a nice piece of per um, per not perfume, a nice bracelet um, or even a watch and some nice you know earrings, bits and pieces like that. And it would also look great as a table favour as well. So you could obviously do this for all kinds of things but I just think it's a really cool little cool design there. See, this is really mirrored and then it just opens up you can lift it up with the rosette here and it just gives you that nice box there so little side flaps there just go down and then it all slides in like so there you go so let's make one so i'm going to make my second one so this is using the really really lovely miri card from hunky dory which i've started to use in a few projects now because i got it it's probably been about two weeks now um It'd be even longer once this video goes up, but I've had it a while. And um, you get, two, there's three packs actually. There's pastel, something pastels, and then you've got delightful darks and brilliant brights. Um, 24 sheets, you get two of each of these colours all around here and all on this one here. So the darks, they are different. You can kind of make up there, that's like a turquoisey. You've got navy, a really dark navy, purple and so on. So really, really lovely. And they're all eight by eight. I'll share all the links and everything below to where I've brought them. Um, so today I'm using the other of the gold there. And um, I've also got my strips here for the uh, rosette. So the card is eight by eight. So it's really, really easy. And then you need two pieces of 11 um, by one inch for my rosettes. Yep, two pieces of that. And then I've just got some embellishments here to put on top. But you, you know, you might want to do a, a gift tag or not even put that on because they look really nice just plain as well. So this is what you need. So grab a scoreboard and first of all, I'm going to turn this over and score on the revert, although you can't really see it there. You can, you can see it better. I've scored it, so I'll just talk you through actually. So you want to score on one of the eight sides, eight inch sides, you're going to score at one inch, uh, which I'll get it yet, yeah, one inch, then four inches, then five inches, and then seven inches. And you can see there each of those score lines. Then rotate onto your um, other eight and um, eight inch side, and you're going to score again at one inch, and then at seven inches. And then do one and a half just down to the second score line. So you've got your first score line, your second score line. You're just scoring down to there. And then again at six and a half, down past that first score line and just down to the second one there. Okay, and you'll see that one there where it's just going down. Probably see me as well. Hello. <laughs> okay, so that is the score lines that you want. So shiny, this one. Okay, that's everything there. While we've got the scoreboard out, grab your two pieces of 11 by 1. And all you're going to do, again, because this is a shimmer paper or card, anything like this, always score on the reverse because you do, otherwise you could, you know, risk um, scratching off any of that, that kind of shimmer. So to just flip it over there and you want to score it every quarter of an inch. So quarter of an inch, half an inch, three quarters of an inch, one inch. Then one and a quarter, one and a half, one and three quarters, two. Two and a quarter, two and a half, two and three quarters, three. And do that all the way along, every quarter of an inch. Okay, so get rid of your scoreboard and put that down there. And then we'll go back to, we'll do the rosette in a minute, we'll go back to this now. And what we will do is we'll do the cutting and then we'll do the other little bit of scoring. So I've already done that. So first of all, we will cut. So I'm going to do it this side so you can see those score lines really well. So where you've got. Um, the pieces where the score lines that you've just scored down to that second score line here you want that facing you and you're going to cut first of all up this outer score line the most outer one so this one here and you want to cut all the way up as neat as possible because this is the front of the flap that folds over you're going to go down past that second score line and you're going to go all the way down to the third score line okay so the first score line second score line First, second, third, okay, and then cut across like so. 
so you just remove that completely okay and then again here you just want to cut all the way down exactly the same so pass that first score line pass the second and down to the third okay then rotate it and you should have these two little squares either side here you just want to cut both of those out like so okay so that's what you will have all right now where this scores down past that line to this one here you want to cut in just to that there so just cut in and it's half an inch so just like so okay and again on this side here and just cut in there like so right so now I'm going to flip it over and you just need to do some extra scoring so you just grab yourself a metal ruler um, and just make sure you've got a, a, a base that's softish this is a mat um, which is really good um, or a paper stack or something just that you can lean on so what you want to do is on each of these sides and even on this one here we're going to be I'll start on the side here and you can probably if I just bring that up there you can just see what we're going to be doing okay so each of these are coming in at half an inch so just lie your ruler down here make sure the end of the ruler is flush with the edge here and just put a little indent at half an inch and it's a three inch length this particular piece here so then you just want to put another little indent at two and a half okay then when you've done that you want to join that indent down to the corner of the um, rectangle base here so just like so and again with this one here you're just going to join that up to the other corner there and that will give you those score lines so now around to this side here so again with your ruler you want to just put in a little indent at half an inch and then at this one here come in at half an inch and again just then draw a score line joining them up there and there and again rotate do exactly the same okay then on this one here where we've cut in that is already half an inch so all you need to do is just join your ruler from where you have cut in here down to the corner there and again down to the corner there okay so that is what you want to have yours needs to look like there we go so now we can burnish all of our score lines so really carefully although this card is very good to use um, and we've actually got one more bit of cutting which I forgot so that's fine we can do that after this Okay, so that's everything burnished there and then at the top here so this is our lid you've got these two kind of little rectangle edges you just want to cut down just cut that out like so Again, cut that one out and then what I would say because this is going to be sliding in the box is just ever so slightly just take a little wedge out very very thin you can see that it's not very what I'm taking off there tiny little bit okay and then with these two pieces here okay just to help them go in you know slide in and close the box just you can see there what I'm cutting out just a little again another wedge and again just doesn't matter if they're not exact you're not going to see it. it's just to help the box close okay so I'll lie this down facing up and that is the shape that you want, like, but if I lie it white, yeah, that's better actually. That's the shape that you want. Okay, so you can pause it there if you need to, just so you can make sure you can catch up. Okay, now it's all about putting it together. So all these little um, corners that we um, scored, you just need to fold them all up, so like so. And just make sure you get it right down to the, the corner. These have to be really, you know right up to the the corner there of the of the rectangle base and this will give you that really nice sharp finish here okay so if you are a bit out I would advise that you just make sure you spend some time getting it perfect because otherwise especially with this Miri card you know it kind of does show the flaws because it's so shiny it's not as forgiving as normal card okay so that's what we've got there then I'm just using some red tape the reason being is if you use wet glue on this because it's such a shiny surface you would have to hold it there for ages and ages or put a peg there or something so you could use a tiny bit of hot glue maybe but even that would end up peeling off so I've found that the red tape works really well so just flip it over and you only need to put it on 
these two and these two here you don't need to put it on every single one and when I'm sticking it down I'm sticking it right up to the score line so it's hogging that score line there so just that one there and then on this one here like so and then again on this there end. you can see just on the the outer part ones here and just right up to the score line okay so now we can put that together so just first of all start on one side so just take these off it's all the static and you're basically just going to fold it down and this one down and bring it up just like you would any other box but obviously this one's going to go you know on a slant so it's going to go more inwards and what you want to make sure is when you put them together that they meet perfectly come up there at the top here you need that perfect join see now they meet up perfectly with this line all right so that just means that all measurements are correct so again it's a good way to gauge you can still go back and kind of save some of it at this point before you stick it all down again here just push both of them down and bring it together make sure you get that really nice that's why i say put that tape right up to that score line so you get a really nice really neat clean finish there and then again just do this side here get all these red bits they're, they're attaching to everything because they're so static uh, so much static on them even okay got it out Ooh. okay so now when you close the side pieces where we cut them on that angle and we took that wedge out it just means it will go in there nice and neat and then the lid oh, this bit here will go down and you'll get a really nice flush finish and there is your gold bar oh didn't put that side down you can just slide it in there we go isn't that lovely so there it is it's done you can now decorate how you want you could wrap ribbon around it there's all kinds of things you can do they look amazing and they don't have to be gold of course they can be any color you want but for those of you that want to also see the rosette this is I always use 11 inch length because I just find that you get just for me I just think it's the the perfect looking rosette in terms of full fullness um, now what you want to do is you've got the two I've already prepped this one now this one here I first of all folded as a mountain fold so the very first fold here is you fold down and up so that you get that mountain there get my focus in oh, where are we there we go oh, it's not very good tonight I think there's too much going on all this glitter there we go so you see the first fold there is a mountain okay and then valley and then mountain and then valley and so on and you just want to fold it all together concertina and like just keep so folding it all together like so and I'll share the link now as well to all the other rosettes that I've made because I've got lots of different sizes and then just squeeze it all together like so and you'll have that one and then with this one with the second one you want to fold up first of all so rather than folding down it's really taking its time tonight you want to fold the first one up okay like so and then the next one down so there you will see you have a valley fold to start with and on this one you have a mountain fold to start with okay the reason I do this some people will be like oh that's a bit of a faff but it just makes it easier when you come to stick it together and you get a really nice um, uh, seam you don't you wouldn't even know that you'd stuck them together and stuff it's just a bit easier that's all once you've done them a few times and you always go and do it that way so I don't even think about it now when I make them I always do one as a mountain and one with a valley so it's just a little tip there if you did want to use it so just do that until the, it's all folded okay, so there's my other one there so now what we want to do is join them together so with the one that's got the mountain folds either end flip it over and just pop some tape again I'm using the red tape because it works well with this glitter paper because it's quite um, rough um, again a wet glue doesn't really stick on these um, unless you've got more of a super glue kind of thing so I just find again the red tape is just so good um, it just sticks to pretty much everything so with your mountain fold one there without folding it up on there's the mountain fold one just pop it over the top of that valley and you just get a really nice join and that's why I just think it's a bit easier doing it that way like so and then when you fold them back together you wouldn't know where the join was okay and then again with this mountain one here just pop your tape underneath And again pop that in there and just fold that one over the top 
like so. And there you have it. So now what you can do is just fold one side down flat and just start bringing all the rest of it down. And it will all of a sudden pop into place like so. There we go. And there is your rosette. Lovely and sparkly. So I've already got my heat gun nice and hot. Although it fell on the floor, so let me just grab that. And then just holding it all together, tiny bit fiddly, but it's okay. Just fill the middle with glue. Again, make sure you've got, obviously you don't want to be doing this on your best table or anything. Um, and just let that dry. Okay, so that's the top bit there, but it's still it needs to be stuck on the bottom. So just grab, I've just got a little um, circle um, punch here, and then just flip it over. Again, squeeze some glue in there, and just pop that disc on the top, and that will obviously flatten it all down. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, and then you could put another sentiment circle disc on top, which I've done with many of my rosettes, but with this one I just wanted to keep it really simple. So I've just got these embellishments here, and just because it's on that glue, I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on the back of that. Just sit that in the middle there. A little bit there I need to take off, there we go. And there's the little rosette. Isn't that really cute? Love it. So now just pop a splodge of glue again in the middle. You could use a, dot, a foam dot if you wanted to. I'm just going to sit that again. You've got a bit of time to manoeuvre it so I can make sure that's nicely centred there. Like so. Make sure you've got no stringy bits there. And then what I'm going to do, should have done that first, I'm just going to open it up and just just really kind of pinch this front piece. I probably could have burnished it a bit better, but if you just pinch it and squeeze it along there, then when you go to fold that back in, you'll get a really nice flush finish at the top, like so. There you have it. My lovely gold bar. So really straightforward, um, just obviously a little bit different there when you come to put together the corners, but it's just like any other box really. So have a play around, see if you can make other sizes as well. If you do like this one and you want me to make other sizes, let me know. I'm more than happy to give it a go. Um, please hit the like button if you enjoyed today's tutorial and subscribe to my channel to see more. Thank you for watching. Bye.